One of my clients reached out to me with a particularly interesting challenge. They wanted to have uh, a next button with a delayed appearance on every single slide to ensure that the learners saw all the content, content on every single slide. But here's the challenge. They also wanted to give them the ability to have a progress bar in the, uh, the skin or the play bar at the bottom of each slide. Now the problem with the progress bar is that users can click on the icon in the progress bar and scrub forward skipping all the content regardless of the delayed appearance of a bunch of next buttons. So I did a little research and I found a solution uh, in part thanks to uh, Michael Barshinger who's really the expert in this case um, Michael Barshinger wrote some JavaScript that will disable the play bar slider control and prevent users from skipping forward a whole bunch of slides, but still give them the advantage of being able to see how much progress they've made in their particular e-learning course. So down here at the bottom of this page, and I'll include a link to this page in the description of the video, uh, you can select this JavaScript here and I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to minimize that window. We'll close the skin editor window and on slide one in the properties inspector we'll move over to the actions tab and on the on enter action we'll set that up to execute some JavaScript here. We'll go into the script window and we'll paste that in here. Click OK. I do want the slide to continue playing the project and I'll do the same thing for each slide in this course. The reason you need to do it for each slide is that in the event that someone exits a course early and then relaunches at a later point, we want to make sure that that same functionality uh, is working there. So again, I'll just paste this JavaScript in here, select continue playing the project, execute JavaScript, paste that in there, uh, a little bit time consuming, but obviously if this is what your client requires of your e-learning course, obviously we have to make this customization here. So this should now work. Let's do a preview of this project in HTML5 and we'll test it out and make sure that that, that in fact actually does work. So here we go. We're going to see our play button in a moment here. We'll click play and uh, the course is playing of course. And then eventually the play button, or sorry, the next button should appear. Uh, there it is. The course pauses. Now, again, the, the learner's instinct might be to try and click on this play bar, which I'm doing right now vigorously, of course. And to no avail, I can't move past this slide. I have to wait for that next button to go to the next slide. And again, I, I can't do it from any slide here. I, I have to wait until that content uh, is displayed there. So hopefully the solution uh, helps you and uh, obviously the kudos uh, should go to of course uh, Michael Barshinger for coming up this uh, coming up with this solution um, you know and it, like I said I'll include this link in the description below. If you thought this video was useful please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.